In a world of reliant on electricity, protection and reliability of power systems must be ensured. Their lightning surge arresters play a main role to protect power apparatus such as transformers. But how we can measure the conditions of a lightning surge arrestor are good enough to operate. In our undergraduate project we propose an online condition. Monitoring method for the energized 33 kV snow lightning surge. Arresters by statistical analysis and thermal image processing of infrared images and validation Through FEM-based modeling. Under our methodology, we are going to verify the condition of a surge arrestor into different ways. One verification's picture appears to then we follow these paths to achieve our objectives. According to the Meteorology Department of Sri Lanka, Kandy has a high keronic level for lightnings, therefore, several locations around Paradinia was selected. We use Fluke T450 thermal imager, which is recommended in C before our inspection scammer images appear. Then we captured those images and processed to enhance the thermal characteristics. Through the Fluke SmartView software, these are some of the processed thermal images. Using temperature profiles of the arrestor's statistical parameters are defined using box plots, violin plots, and central dispersion methods. According to those results, and age conditions of the arrestor's healthy or non healthy conditions are defined. CEV is using two types of designs, according to both of them. We have modeled for healthy conditions, following are the results. And the line graphs are almost identical with our observed healthy arrestor results. By adding different conditions we managed to obtain the results. For all the observed arrestors and compared the line graphs with the actual temperature variations. From the comparison of the actual thermal images we have verified. The models dot following are the results and conclusions obtained for the fee of modeling. Before measuring the leakage current, as an indicator insulation, resistance of all the collected arrestor samples are measured. This is the mega test procedure we have followed. This is the setup we are going to implement to measure leakage currents. Currently we are working on implementing it in our high voltage laboratory. Using temperature data and leakage current data we are going to build the relationship using PCA and classification techniques. Accordingly as our final result, we can provide the condition of an arrestor using its thermal data.